The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. The Q101 Morning Crew. Sports! Ah, Friday morning, there might be a new football coach here in Chicago with the Bears. If you listen to all the scuttlebutt around the league from the talking heads, like uh, Peter King was one big guy out there saying, wouldn't be surprised if the Bears lose the game to the Commanders. That would be taking them to 0-5. 0-5 at this point. Uh, that they will not survive after losing. That'd be 14 in a row, almost a year still at this point. We've marked our October 24th, a year since a win. And wouldn't be surprised. Now, the Bears have never fired a coach midseason. They've always wrote him out at least till the end and then fired them. And I'm listen, it's not just the coach's fault here. I've said that before that we're beyond that. Because they've hired uh, how many coaches since Lovey Smith? Four. There was four, Trussman, yeah. Fox. There was Nagy. There's uh, Eberflus. I believe it was Lovey Smith. Then that was they got fired for going ten and six. By the way, Lovey, come back, baby. <laughs> come back. We're sorry. Please, Lovey, come back. So, jeez, uh, he's not like the guy from It's a Wonderful Life. <laughs> well, good reference when he's saying, Clarence, Clarence, like, come oh, back. Yeah. I wanted my life back. Yes, he's on. A little early, uh, early peek into Christmas movies. You like, you like It's a Wonderful Life? Yeah, we named all of our dogs after those characters. Are you kidding? Our dogs' names were Clarence and Bedford. Oh my God, Case, do you even know this movie? I've heard of it. I've never seen it. It's. I don't care what age you are. It's okay. a black and white movie. That looks like it's from two thousand years ago. You like that kind of stuff? It's, uh, it's uh, old school. You're sometimes, so unique. yeah. But I think this this movie's probably too popular of a black and white movie for me to like. That's the problem. Oh boy, it's just it's about it's about appreciating your own life. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Case is such a martyr. <laughs> I don't. Want he doesn't want to see how blessed he is. <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> Sounds disgusting. I, I don't think this will happen if they lose, by the way, because I think the Bears will will be the Bears, and I'm not saying he should be fired. I'm saying, you know, at this point, there's a bigger issue, and also, let's keep things rolling for those uh, number one and number two pick next year in the draft. So you think Eberflu should keep his job? I'm not saying at the by the end of the year, but if firing him Friday does nothing. Their point is that if they fire him Friday, they have the bye week, so there will be a lot of time to figure out what to do. How many more games do we have to lose to already know that we can't be in the Super Bowl? Oh, I, I think, think, I, think we did, I think we did that. Uh, I, but I'm serious, like. Well, you're right. You have to let's see. How, like mathematically, when does it become impossible? It's too early to tell right now because you have to. Of course, there's the wild card and there's a division wins. It's too early. But let's put it this way: there's there's 17 games in the season. Yes. Most times, the worst playoff teams are nine and eight. So mm-hmm. that's sort of the mark we need to be at to have a shot at making the playoffs. Mm-hmm. We're already halfway there. And there's a lot of games left to be played. Yeah. yeah. Now, have some bad teams after the Commanders coming up. Commanders yes. are actually good. So you're saying there's a chance. There's a chance. Super Bowl, baby, there, this there, year. There, there's a chance they win the Super Bowl. There's also a chance they're the first team eliminated from playoff contention. Yes. It's one or the other. Yeah, we I don't just, know where it'll <laughs> go. And I've been behind this before where teams want to you fire early so you can get that great candidate that's out there. Does it matter? You've, like I said, you've been through coaches. 0-4 and, and these coaches are doing things since Lovey, who took you to a Super Bowl and lost, by, sadly, because... Oh, I don't want to get into that. That's too long ago. 15 years now we're talking. But what, yeah. do you, what do you want? You want Harry Potter to come in and cast a spell against this team to play well? It's got to be the coach at some point. Well, but it's not the coach because they fired the coaches. Nothing changes. Yeah, but this coach is also bad. They've just been hiring bad coaches. That's why you got to fire the owners. you got to <laughs> okay. sell. You can't fire an owner, but you can sell. <laughs> sell the damn team and get new people in here. Get Mark Cuban to come in here. I don't know. Somebody with a billion dollars. A guy who owns a basketball team should come in and coach a football team? Own. Oh, okay. Oh, Own. that makes more sense. I don't want Mark Cuban coaching. <laughs> that wouldn't be good. I get you equity for this first down. It's not going to do us any good. I want 15% of the Bears for $5 billion. Oh. Oh. Okay, so Major League Baseball yesterday, maybe you skipped football a little bit. A lot of, a lot of listen, it was a big day for the wild card. The, the Cubs were not in and the White Sox we knew weren't in. But uh, mm. Rangers Rays. So Rangers Rays, Kenzie. Uh, Rangers won 4 nothing. Rays were favored. Rays have the smallest. Talked about attendance size. Rays have the smallest MLB stadium, and they couldn't fill it 80%. There was 19,000 people for a wild card game. Playoffs. Playoffs. I mean, I lived in Tampa. That's not surprising at all. Do they only show up if they get to the World Series? I don't even think that. I'm not. When I tell you people there do not care. Listen to you. Like, <laughs> it's unbelievable how much they don't care that's it's also one of the worst stadiums i've ever been to which is so unfortunate because you're in florida it should be stunning yeah and it's it's like being in a trash tan like can it's just horrible it's in the Mm. middle of a parking lot 
nothing around it. You don't experience Florida at all. I I've been to games there, or I've been to a game there. It feels like you're watching baseball in a mall. It's actually very uncomfortable because you walk in and it's all it's all indoors. It's, well, it's so strange. Why don't they put it on the beach? I well, it rains in Florida sometimes. I think they're. I think that's why Hurricane, they're inside. Yeah. Uh, here's the thing. I understand why it's inside because you have to understand how hot most of baseball season is yeah. it would be absolutely miserable but there's still a lot more attractive things you could do to be honest and I'll, I'll give credit to the brewers they have a partially indoor stadium which is what florida should have done even though it had to be closed a lot of times there's still some beautiful days you can have it open the brewers have done a wonderful job with that stadium i really really enjoy it yeah i love the slide i think that's just a hoot okay <laughs> and like there's so many it's florida like there's it's practically there's no laws here and this is the best we could do it's just it's a bummer but my uh my friends who are born and raised there i asked them i'm like how are you not raised fans like i was a cubs fan when i lived there because my dad was from chicago yeah. and that's how we grew up but i'm like I don't understand how you're not Rays fans. They're like, because the team's so new. Like, my dad was a Miami fan, so I grew up a Miami fan. They don't have that, like, often you follow your family. Right. With, like, your fandom. But at this point, it's not new anymore. I mean, they've been around. No, it's their 25th year. They're, wearing, mean, the, they're wearing the patches. And they still but have... they still, like, your parents. I get it. Still it's weren't not, fans of them. It's a generation that gap there. So it's like, it, that takes a very long time because you've got to get that... It's, it's going to be a long time <laughs> before so they we'll, have we'll that. So we'll check it in 75 years after uh, they get <laughs> but there. But they're incredible. They're pulling their own money ball. There's going to be like a movie made after them soon. Uh, twins, <laughs> That's unbelievable. Twins beat the Blue Jays 3-1. to one. That's the first Twins playoff game for White Sox fans. It's been a rivalry there since 2004. So almost 20 years since a playoff win the Twins got yesterday. Uh, D-backs, speaking of the Brewers, were winning. Brewers were winning. D-backs came back and beat the evil Brewers 6-3. And then last night, uh, Phillies Marlins was electric. Uh, Phillies won 4-1 in my household. My wife's from Philly. What? That stadium sounds like a football stadium. It's a baseball stadium. It's crazy how loud they were getting last night. Yeah, I think if, if you haven't checked out the baseball playoffs or did it yesterday, the, the Twins series is very interesting because, like you said, they hadn't won a playoff game since 2004, which means all those Joe Maurer teams, all those Justin Morneau teams, they never won a game. And the atmosphere there was as crazy as it was in Philly. It was. I'm not a Twins fan by any means, but it was nice to see. They, they need a win every 20 years. Uh, yeah, they got one. <laughs> they're going to blow it, but, uh, you know, that's where they're at. So the games are all today again, uh, about the same times for each matchup today, I yes. believe. Yeah. So uh, Chicago Fire tonight sold out. 61,000 people at Soldier Field tonight against Inter-Miami. Messi, we gave away the exclusive tickets to this on the midfield last week. And now it turns out Messi may not play. That is Wild. I hope he surprises everyone. Is like, hey, I feel it <laughs> He comes out like a wrestler, like it's a yes! surprise entrance. They're, oh they're just about to kick off, and, and his and Messi's entrance music hits. He comes out like Kurt Angle and just boom, runs to the boom, field. Boom, boom. Oh, that'd be so fantastic. Like, like sparklers. Yeah. Oh, how <laughs> have, fun would that be? They have Messi pyro. It's flames, and the crowd's going nuts, and he cuts a promo before he kicks yeah. off. Oh, absolutely. Oh, you thought you were going to start this match without me? Not without me. <laughs> this is my house. Uh, Oregon State's head coach. Coach had to apologize for pretending to milk his nipples during a game against Utah over the weekend. Now, I'm sorry, what? Okay, so here's what he did, Kazi. <laughs> yeah, say, say it again. Could you, could you <laughs> slow down okay. and re say that sentence? Let's slow it down. For Kazi, you know, shh. I'm sorry. Shh. Here we I go. I wasn't ready. I thought you were about to give a score again. <laughs> no, no more scores. Here we go, Kenzie. What? Oregon State's head coach had to apologize for pretending to milk his nipples on the sideline against Utah over the weekend. He had to apologize in a press conference. He said he Why did he do that? Why did he do it? Actually, what was the... Great question. I want to know the, the whole package. He first. was trying to tell his offense to slow down and milk the clock. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine the amount of time they wasted trying to figure out what that meant? The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q. 101. It's Brian and Kenzie on Q101, and we will get you on the phones and clash with Kenzie in just about 10 seconds or so to uh, win the tickets to Q101's Twisted Christmas if you beat Kenzie in a trivia contest. Now, we were talking about the Oregon State coach who had to apologize in a press conference for pretending to milk his nipples <laughs> on the sideline of a game Saturday because he was telling his team, milk the clock. I just... Just yell it. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't think the There's defense. There's no way they yeah. understood what was going on. He's rubbing himself. There's all his, these like 18-year-old boys are watching their coach grab his nipples and pretend to milk him in a college football game. Oh, my God. Uh, I just can't even. I can't. Brings back memories of a, of a wonderful scene in a wonderful movie. I milked a cat once.
You want to hear a story? <laughs> sure. My sister had a cat, and the cat birthed a litter of kittens. Must have been 30 of them. And there was this one 30. little runt, this little sweet little little engine that could run, who could, you know, wanted to get up there and couldn't really get access to the, to the, to the, to the, to the uh, teat. 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 Dad. What have you. I went in and just simply, you know, just into a little saucer <laughs> and uh, then took the saucer and fed it to Geppetto. Geppetto. That's what I Geppetto. I, I had no idea you could milk a cat. Oh, yeah, you can milk anything with nipples. <laughs> I have nipples, Greg. Could you milk me? The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101. You can't defeat her. She's too powerful. Clash with Kenzie. <laughs> Let the battle begin. Q101. All right, here we go. Q101 Twisted Christmas tickets. We announced the whole thing on Monday. We'll do a recap for you if you missed out on the pre-sale going on now. Sponsored by our great friends Heineken, Byline Bank, and Triton College. We have tickets for night three, Thursday, December 7th. This would be Bleachers, Mr. Wives, and from Chicago, Sincere Engineer. It's going to be a great night. As usual, all four are great nights. The pre-sale tickets going on now. Get them, but these are free, and J.C. has a chance to get them from Kenzie. J.C. Ahoy, tell us something really quick about yourself. Hi. So my husband proposed to me with a Bleacher song back in 2007, well, 2018. Um, I bought him the album Gone Now, and he started playing it in his car. Um, he turned the Let's Get Married song in and told me to go into the glove box, and there the ring was. So... Oh my, oh, my God. I love that. So he hid the ring, you know? He had to go find it? <laughs> what, what's that? He hid the ring, like you had to go find it? You said the ring was out he, back? He had, he, he had it in the glove compartment of his car. He proposed to me while playing the album in the car. Oh. He turned it to the song, Let's Get Married. I thought you had to and... take a metal detector out in the yard and go <laughs> dig for it somewhere. No, no, no. no. We were in the car. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, yeah. more my heart. <laughs> oh, boy. Kenzie's heart's warm. You know what I happens there. <laughs> All right. Well, here we go. Uh, first one to five wins, JC. Uh, if Kenzie gets one wrong, you can steal a point. She can do the same with you. Call heads or tails on the count of three. One, two, three. Head. Ah, it's tails. Ooh. Damn. All right. Here we go. Uh, Kenzie. Yeah. What fruit is mixed with Sprite for their annual Christmas drink? be cranberry cranberry and sprite delicious add a little vodka to that and you are living uh, just about that time i'm so excited oh it's great that's straight edge case there jumping in but i love cranberry sprite ah with vodka though no you, you gotta try that okay all right get there i'll get right on that kinsey's got one uh jc in the movie toy story what is the name of the boy next door who blows up toys sid sid we got one to one uh kenzie what band was george michael a part of before going solo. Wham, baby! As Wham is right. Great group. Uh, I recommend you check them out if you have. <laughs> well, it's really good. George Michael has passed on though, so you're not going to see him live. Yeah, it's I was really... going to say it's hard at this point to bring back. You know, bands go on without a singer a lot of times, but there was two of them. And I don't know what's the other guy's name. I can't remember. I don't know. And what's he doing today? Mm. Hot take. What if his name was Wham? The whole thing was named after him. <laughs> he was supposed He's to be the star. Like <laughs> yeah. Damn guy took all the spotlight with his shaking his butt and everything it on the song. Wham and George Michael on the background. Yeah. <laughs> Which guy in Wham did you like, JC? Uh, I, I just George Michael. I didn't know anybody else in Wham. Yes, yeah, so there was another guy. That's poor, so sad. Poor guy. I had no idea. I had no idea. We'll do a deep dive on him coming up here at 8 o'clock. <laughs> see what happened to him. All right. It is 2 to 1. It's back to JC. Uh, JC, who did America fight in the American Revolutionary War? Uh, the British? The British is right. Good job. Two oh, two. was that the Paul Revere one? Uh, <laughs> with the British are coming? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was on a horse and had yeah. the lantern thing. Classic. Yeah. Pretty brave guy. Yeah. Running around with his horse. <laughs> did a good job. <laughs> that would have my job. Go gossip. <laughs> I'm like, guess what's coming? Why don't we give Kenzie a horse and uh, tell her to just run around and go gossip? This is, this is pre-bullhorn. You got to think that. And so I was been loud enough. Yeah. 
It wouldn't be about it. You would have been an asset to that yeah, village. Absolutely. I'm telling you. Yeah. If anybody's going to tell everybody to wake up, it's going to be Kenzie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it is two to two. It's back to Kenzie. Uh, Kenzie, before calling it quits in 2023, who hosted the carpool karaoke segment? Oh, um, James Corden. James Corden is right. Three, two, two, two. <laughs> Fluffier. So uh, back to JC. Yes. Uh, what car manufacturer produces the Escalade? Uh, Ford. Ford. It's not a Ford Escalade. No, I'm sorry, uh, Kenzie. Mm -hmm. well, I just call it an Escalade. Um, <laughs> that's right. That's why it's just tough. I, this is the thing with cars. I always think that that's its own brand. So I think all these cars, I'm like, a Malibu. <laughs> no. I mean, by Malibu. Where's the, where's the Malibu company? <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, does it GMC? It's not GMC. That what be, is it? It's Cadillac. Oh, Cadillac made the Escalade. It used to be an old car brand, and they made does, the Escalade. Does, does GMC have something similar then? They have the Yukon. Ah, that would be more of my price point. Does that make sense? <laughs> I'm aware of that one. Weird thing is they probably both cost about the same. They just put that Escalade little logo on there. And, I don't know. Labels yeah. cost money. Yeah. That's true. All right. Three to two. Back to Kenzie. Kenzie, uh, <laughs> Arthos, Porthos, and Aramis were better known as what group? What? <laughs> those, those three guys. A group? Yeah. They're what, what group were they known as? Those guys. Arthos. What is it? Porthos and Aramis. I... Yes, a group? Uh, the Greek gods? Group uh, not, gods not the Greek or gods. Or uh, do you know, uh, JC? Uh, is it Earth, Wind, and Fire? No! <laughs> oh, that's a good I, guess. Wish, I wish it was Earth, Wind, and Fire. Uh, was it the other guy in Wham? <laughs> <laughs> it was the Three Musketeers. Those are their real names. Really? Yeah. What? I know. But Earth, Wind, and Fire will be going as them for Halloween. Yeah, that's good stuff. It'll be great. Oh, wow. Okay. Right. Still three to two is back to JC. Uh, JC, Connor Bedard was the first pick in the 2023 NHL draft. He was, oh, I just gave it away. My bad. Let's get uh, that question. Uh, okay. So uh, I was wondering what else the question would be as you kept talking. Uh, I ruined that one. Sorry. A little giggly <laughs> oh here this morning. Oh, my God. Uh, uh, JC. Which is the only one of the seven dwarfs without a beard? Dopey. Dopey's right. Wow. <laughs> I had a three. hermit crab named Dopey because he you? always fell off rocks. <laughs> I named him that. Is he alive? He didn't have a beard. Kind of like George Michael. He's gone now because he fell too many <laughs> yeah, times. Yeah, he fell. Oh, <laughs> man. It's very sad. George Michael getting a lot of hits today. All right. Three to three tie ball game. Back to Kenzie. Oh, uh, boy. Kenzie, what actor starred as Troy Bolton in the high school musical franchise? Zach Efron. Oh, those abs. Hello. Glorious. Oh, I think he was a teenager that time, so calm down. <laughs> Can I? Okay. <laughs> so but he, he, he's an adult now. He's got great Whoa. abs as an adult. <laughs> JC got my side on that one. I can talk about his abs. I got you. I got your side. I think he might. I don't think he was a teenager. I think he was an adult when he was in that. So I think you're good. That's even creepier. I think it was barely legal high school musical. God. Yeah, barely legal. Gross. Oh. All right. Boys gone wild. <laughs> <laughs> Four to three. Back to JC. Uh, JC, what city was Abraham Lincoln assassinated in? What city? Three. Uh, Two. Chicago. No, it was not Chicago. For the win, Kenzie. What city? What city was Abraham Lincoln assassinated? Well, we're the land of Lincoln. So we're in the land of Lincoln. She said Chicago already, so. Uh. Three. Rockford. <laughs> no. <laughs> It'd be a great claim to fame for Rockford. I don't know. I mean, they got Pecatonic out there. They got, the, you know, those things. It was where, wa where he was, where, Washington, D.C. Oh, I don't oh. know where he was. Well, I knew he was at a theater. He was a president, and he was there going to, he just, he didn't get on a horse carriage well, and go to Rockford from there to go out to a little theater show. Well, it's taking a while. Oh, boy, four to three. Kenzie can win with yeah, the correct we're, we're answer. We are not doing so good. I know. Yeah. This, is, this is a tough one. Are you having fun, though? I'm having a lot of fun. All right. Oh, thank good. God. She okay. probably has something she has to go do, though. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. Back to Kenzie. Okay. Kenzie, are you ready? Sure. Uh, what is the name of the bull's mascot? Oh, Benny. Benny the bull is <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, that, thank God. It was the order of the questions. I know it seemed like maybe that was a little easy one. No, listen. There. I'm going to say something, though. Oh, boy. Because I I think JC is an awesome sport. Mm -hmm. um, oh. Uh, and, oh, look at her. This is so cute. And uh, what, like, a special show. They got engaged with bleachers. I think we should still send her. I think she should get the tickets. 
Casey, you approve of that? Play for 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> this literally could have been the. You're the best. No. <laughs> Suck it up there. <laughs> giving it out. Your story's true, right? Let's verify your story's true about that with the bleachers. Your dad, your, your, your dad, your husband proposed to bleachers. Yeah. Yeah, he played, he played Let's Get Married. That's how he proposed to me. And he's listening right now. So, Darren, Kenzie is letting us see bleachers. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Kenzie. Thanks, Ryan. Yeah, I was there here. I was here too. Well, I made the decision. You did, you yeah. Did, actually, yeah. <laughs> the Q101 Morning Cruise Clash with Kenzie on Q101. And let's play another band playing Q101's Twisted Christmas. That would be Love Joy. It's Brian and Kenzie on Q101. The Q101 Morning Crew on Q101. The Q101 Morning Crew on Q101. It's Brian and Kenzie on Q101 Lovejoy appearing at Q101's Twisted Christmas. And let's go through everything here because we made the announcement 8 a.m. on Monday. And, you know, maybe uh, you were distracted. Just to remind you the awesomeness and we really appreciate all the, all people checking in because people are fired up for all four nights. But let's go let's go right down through it, the whole list, and how you can get the pre-sale tickets right now. Uh, Tuesday, December 5th is the Black Keys, our friends Local H, and Alex Sucks. Uh, great, great band, actually, by the way, if you haven't heard much about them yet. Uh, Wednesday, December 6th, we just heard Lovejoy. They are headlining that night with White Reaper and Chicago People, Bridget Calls Me Baby. So that's two uh, Chicago bands right there in the first two nights. Then Thursday, December 7th, where you just heard JC and her and her husband, who we proposed to her to a bleachers song in trivia there, the longest trivia game ever, Kenzie. Good job. Uh, bleachers, Mr. Came Wives. Out job. <laughs> <laughs> bleachers, Mr. Wives, and Sincere Engineer, also a Chicago band. That's Thursday, December 7th. And then Friday, December 8th, Young the Giant, the Gaslight Anthem, and Little Image. Four incredible nights. Pace yourself, it's gonna be a long one. And our friends, of course, uh, Byline Bank, Heineken. Try that Heineken Silver. It's delicious. And Triton College. Now, tickets are on sale now. The pre-sale started Monday. It ends tomorrow night at 10 p.m. Use the password Byline. Buy any of those shows, all those shows. They make a great gift, by the way, for thinking about a special gift for someone for Christmas. These are it. And for yourself as well. So very easy. Q101.com has all this information. The password is byline. Do not text it now. Just I'd use that when you buy the tickets. You know what would be kind of cool? What would be cool? I love coming up with good gifts. Uh-huh. If you get more than one night at Twisted or whatever, but if you're like, oh, I don't know if I just want to get him a concert, it's rom- make it romantic and play on like a mini staycation. So like get someone to watch the kids or whatever, get like a hotel Plan nice dinners, go to these shows because they are gone. I'm, there's so much around it, yeah. so many places you can stay, so many good restaurants. It would be fun to plan like a whole evening for someone around around your favorite group or favorite night. Why not? I love that idea. So we'll also have a lot of experiences with it, like after parties too, and everything we do with uh, with Twisted is just for you. It's our way to say thank you for supporting Q101 for the entire year with these awesome shows that no other radio stations on earth. Could get you, you know, get these things lined up for you. So, Q101.com, the pre, uh, pre-sale's on right now. Use Byline to buy those tickets right now because the general pre- the general sale is Friday, and that's when things get uh, a little hectic to get a ticket. Pre-sale for you. You with us. Q101.com right now. Go get them. The Q101 Morning Crew. On Q101.